Hi, I'm Al. I'm the lead metal worker here at the Guild, and this car right next to me is a 1949 Delahaye 135M, and the coach building was done by a French company called Frenet. Today we're going to be working on replicating the badge for it. Um, it was originally made out of enameled metal, and that's what we're going to do by hand here in the shop. The badge that came with it was damaged, and while aftermarket replicas are available, they don't have the right curve to fit on the front. And because enamel is actually powdered glass that's melted over the metal of the badge, you can't bend it without it cracking. So we remade, um, using repose techniques in copper, the under layment for the enamel, um, traced out the Delahaye logo, and then uh, using repose tools uh, and the badge mounted in pitch, um, pushed up all the lettering and pushed down all the low spots. The original badge would have been made uh, with a stamp die, so the lettering would have been embossed in a piece of steel, and you would have put it in a press and squeezed it, and it would have given you all of the lettering, and then that would have been enameled. But we don't have that stamp, so I had to recreate all of that by hand using traditional repose techniques. Repose um, is jewelry technique that's used to take flat sheet metal and make it into all kinds of interesting sculptural shapes. To do that, you need to hold the metal, and for that I use uh, pitch, which is basically pine tar and stone dust and a little bit of oil, and um, it grabs the metal. You warm it up and it grabs the metal. As it cools down, it hardens up, and it provides resistance, so when you're pushing the metal around with the little metal tools, uh, it backs it up and keeps it from deforming anywhere except where you're using the punch. And uh, to do work like this, you need a bunch of different tools. And so we ended up making the tools that we needed um, because you're using polished blunt instruments to push the metal around. You don't need to use heat treated steel. You can just use whatever mild steel is around as the copper is so soft. And uh, so we made all kinds of different line tools and chisel tools and um, shaped curved tools to copy out the Delahaye logo. The first thing you do is you mount the badge upside down in the pitch and you push up all of the lines for the letters and then you take it out of the pitch, clean it off, flip it over and then use the uh, chisel tools to pull those wide sort of domes into tight narrow lines that are going to show through once you've polished the enamel. And uh, once we got the repose work and the lettering where we wanted it, um, we shaped it to the curves of the car and then we were able to start our enameling. So to do the enameling you want everything to be scrupulously clean. So the first thing we did was I took the torch and heated it up until it was red hot and quenched it in the water. That burns off any of the oils that are on it from working on it and then uh, I was able to wire brush it up and I put it into a diluted acid solution to etch the metal to again prepare everything for the glass uh, enamel powder to stick to it. And once I do that, I take the enamel powder, uh, sift it, make sure there's nothing in it, make sure there's no junk or organic, there's, make sure there's no junk or dust or anything in it and uh, using little tiny spatulas that I made out of uh, pounded out welding rod, I sort of take the enamel powder mixed with a little bit of water and shovel it into the spaces. The first thing I did was fill everything up with the white and then I cycle it in the oven until it all melts and fuses together. Then pull it out, clean everything, like crazy again. Um, when you add the enamel powder, when it heats up and fuses, shrinks down. So you have to go through several operations of loading it with the wet charged enamel, drying the enamel so it doesn't boil or have any water in it when you put it in the oven, and then fusing it until you've built up enamel over the level of the metal. Uh, once I was happy with the white, I moved on to the red and with my little tiny spatulas and shovels made out of welding rod, shoveled in 
all of the powdered enamel into the areas that were going to go red and then cycled it through the oven and then filled it back up and cycled it until I had everything above the level of the metal. So you have a slightly uneven metal surface. You have an uneven but overly filled enamel surface. And I wet sand and use uh, carborundum stones to then sand the enamel back flush with the face of the metal. And then I polish up through increasing grades of wet dry paper to get everything nice and smooth and glassy and pretty. I'm gonna hand it off to Carl. He's gonna do the final polishing, make sure everything is just right. And then he's going to nickel plate the badge, which is gonna turn all of the copper surfaces uh, silver. And then we'll be able to put it on the car. Thank you.